want to give a huge shout out to my friend Louis. Um, you might know him on Instagram, uh, built by Bruno or MGM Yoda. It's pretty famous, but he did this kit for me because um, I am not a welder, and you know I didn't want to. This kit's way out of my my league. This thing is insane. But you can just see how much work he put into this thing, and he killed it. You can see his welds here. There very nice a little dirty right now but they're very nice and he absolutely killed the kit literally framed the whole plated the whole frame um did everything stripped the axle so if you guys are in central florida um for anything truck related like this i definitely suggest hitting him up for sure still a lot of work to be done but a lot of work has happened so here is the dirt king spring under kit um with Fox shocks. It's a little dirty right now. I was testing it out. I'm still tuning stuff, so it's not the cleanest, but I don't want to leave you guys in the dark. And I know there's not too many videos on this. So this is a 3.0, three tube bypass, two compression tubes, one short, one long, and one rebound tube, you know, the good old stuff. Um, but yeah, from Dirt King, from Fox, I got King 2.0 bump stops because that's the only, they didn't have any Fox bumps for this kit so i just went with king nothing wrong with king at all i love both brands equally um there's my limit straps as you can see here the bump strike plate right here comes up right there um the tabs for the shock here actually the u-bolt goes in between it so it's pretty it's a tight fit so you gotta get it perfectly right but uh that's where the lower shock tabs are. Right in between is a U-bolt. And you can see here the spring under kit itself. Let it go under. Beautiful. It's sad how fast these things rust. I've only been out one time. Um, but that's just how they are. Um, we'll take a look at that. The welds are really nice on here. It's a little dirty right now, but they're really clean. Here are the hangers complete bolt-on and then the spring under hanger support kit right there I'm joints going up to the, a crossbar here that goes into the frame well it actually attaches to the frame plate kit because we plated the whole frame that supports the hangers you can see the frame plate kit right there going all along the entire rear end of the frame uh, 488 re-gear on here just actually steel it coated that um, to match because we still coated everything on here um, I'm gonna get up to the cage here this is a bolt-on cage you can see how nice it looks I did the steel it gray um, it's a really nice finish some KC flex lights which I have to attach I haven't attached yet um, shocks come all the way up into here 16 inch 3.0 shocks they are beefy okay so this kit when the axle goes all the way and strikes the bumps which is a two inches extra of compression it's 17 and three quarters of an inch of travel so almost 18 inches of travel this thing gets at full bump um it's ridiculous it's it's really nice um obviously with the 3.0s you want to put a lot of weight back here um, you will need wheel spacers if you get this kit. Um, right now I have a negative 12 offset wheel. I'm getting new Innovate wheels, um, which are also negative 12s. But with the negative 12, I went with a 1.75 inch wheel spacer. Um, I heard I was supposed to go with two inches, but I think with the offset my wheels already have, I think 1.75 is enough. Um, but if you don't use spacers, you will be directly contacting these tubes. For example, I have 1.5 inch wheel spacers on right now. I'm waiting for the new ones and I'm already hitting these tubes. So you gotta be careful. Um, you definitely need some spacers on here to clear those shocks. Maybe if you had 2.5s, it wouldn't be that much of a problem, but the 3.0s, you definitely need that. Um, for weight back here, I'm doing the Kibbe Tech Speed Tools um, case. I'm actually doing my own case. I got the, the frame though and the bracket from them. I'm putting a battery back here. Um, just because I've ran so many wires up the firewall and they've just been having problems. So I'm gonna put its uh, own battery back here and for weight as well. A floor jack, um, 
some of those traction boards, whatever they're called. I just got a pair of those. Um, and keeping it simple, other than that, I just want a lot of weight back here. Maybe a gas tank and a fire extinguisher, but...